is the magnet. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Magnet. The Magnet is a program that parades professionals, professionals from diverse fields. You call it lending a voice to business growth. We on our own call it mentoring on television. We have another mentoring session today and we have a professional of repute. Youthful, professional, vibrant. What are we talking about? Let's give you his citation. And you'll agree with me that all the accolades I have poured on him, he truly merits it. Who will back you? Abiodun Musa Aibinu, PhD, is an academic and a highly motivated career-driven achiever with over 24 years working experience in the field of mechatronics engineering, telecoms engineering, teaching and research. Presently, he is the vice chancellor, chief executive and academic officer, Summit University of Kwara State, Nigeria, and a professor of mechatronics engineering at the Federal University of Technology, Futmina, Nigeria. Prior to venturing into his academic journey, he worked with some notable telecommunications companies. Professor Aibino is also a co-founder at Artificial Intelligence for Clean Energy, Nigerian Limited, a startup firm with product development along Industry 4.0 technologies. Professor Aibino has participated and won several academic and research awards at various international and national exhibitions. He was nominated for 2012 Promising Researcher Award and Best Teacher Award at IIU in Malaysia, among other several awards he has been honored with in his field of practice. He has won several research grant in and outside the shore of Nigeria, namely to aid his passion for artificial intelligence. He has authored and co-authored several publications in both local and international journals and conferences. His research interests include digital signal and image processing, information and communication technology, robotic process automation, intelligent system development and clean energy generation. He is also actively involved in teaching, supervision, mentoring and research activities at various universities in Nigeria and Malaysia. He is a research resource person to Nigerian Air Force, Nigerian Army and National Defense Headquarters and other agencies having memorandum of understanding with Fort Mina. He is currently the Magaji of Aikulola Aibinu Omo family. Ita Abigbo, Okemakbo, Ibadan, or your state. You welcome back. It is the magnet. Permit me to welcome to the magnet for the week, Professor Abiodu Musa Aibinu. You are welcome to the magnet. Uh, yeah. It's my pleasure <laughs> to be here with you today after <laughs> so several <obvious>. months. <laughs> yes. I see you are grinning. It's actually yeah. a mechatronics engineer. Is, am I correct? Yes, okay. but that's why I'm smiling mechatronically. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't put me on a technological <laughs> lane that I will be. <laughs> it will be difficult for us to flow. <laughs> Anyway, you are welcome to the program. Yeah, you And congratulations, to too. So many strides. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, exactly, eh? man. Exactly. Okay, man. so our focus on the program today will be AI. What do you understand by AI? By now you know. He's one of the promoters of that artificial intelligence. Are you one of the promoters or are you also scared? No, in a nutshell, summarily. Just tell us what exactly is AI, artificial intelligence, for those who may still not know. Thanks a lot for asking about artificial intelligence. Very simple. How do we transfer intelligence in man to machine? That is, that intelligence in you or me, mm -hmm. how, how are we going to transfer it from you to machine? Okay. Very simple. Okay. So, do you want to tell us more about it? Because okay, what what does it mean? Well, exactly. Transferring intelligence to machine. What? How? How do you go about that? Okay, very simple. Let me explain it this way: that artificial intelligence simply means how we are going to have a computer, or a robot, or even your car, or even your refrigerator at home that will have brain just like you wow. that it will learn what you are what you are doing and what you have been doing and we'll be able to eat, do it better than you mm. e.g those things that we used to describe an intelligent human being how are we going to use those characteristics to describe maybe your shear your bed and the rest? so how we how are we going to transfer it from you to that object that is what you call artificial intelligence you know those days they will say robots you are behaving like a robot that is a negative term so now you are promoting ai which means that 
like you said earlier, robots will do things that we normally will manually do. So how do you convince us AI is positive? Oh, let me start like this. Some years ago, Hajia, if you need to go to in a, an unknown place, let's say to my village at Ibadan, after leaving Lagos, after Bega, Ujudo, and this, you will be parked by the road, roadside and ask, please, oh, I'm going to so 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 place. Mm -hmm. And the man will say, ah, you continue to drive straight. <laughs> after reaching that junction, turn left. you turn left, turn right. right, and then <laughs> when you get there, ask another person. <laughs> so the man is using his own intelligence, intelligence. and you can see the limitation. Mm -hmm. And after that, you will stop again and mm. ask another person. Mm. But what we now now mean by artificial intelligence mm. is that you must be able to have a software or a computer or a device that will take you to that actual mm. place. Without asking anybody. Without asking anybody. That means we have transferred that intelligence in that man to a gadget. To a gadget. Okay. So what has replaced that now? Uh, what we are now doing is that that software mm. or the computer must have something in it and that's what they call artificial intelligence so it may be a software but the issue of the robot that you have raised mm. some years ago as you said why are you behaving like robot mm -hmm. or but mm -hmm. no now we are now saying that that robot must be as much more intelligent than that person so we build it with knowledge ability to learn ability to adapt and ability to think on its own. Okay. And then, not only think, must be able to do it better Acts. than us. Okay, you know, this uh, transfer of uh, intelligence to machine, uh, you know, there is this uh, fear or the myth that ah, a lot of people are going to lose their job. That means robots will be doing things that human capital, a lot of people will stay back, there won't be jobs anymore if machines and the robots will take over everything. Is that correct? Uh, thanks a lot for seeking clarification on that. That has been, uh, let me say, is not totally or not correct in any ramification. Let me start by saying that artificial intelligence will definitely create more jobs for us. Let's start, uh, but those who will be affected are those who cannot retrain or upskill. But one thing is that when we adopt artificial intelligence, we are going to have enormous or capabilities and all new job new jobs and the rest. However, we need to reskill ourselves. Let's take this case for let's look at the case of typists in the olden days. For you to have a page, you need to go and get a typist and less and you will wait maybe five to ten minutes. Then with the introduction of computer, then you and me we cannot type from the comfort of our mm -hmm. own. However, again, you can see a, a typist now is endangered, especially. But you now have your laptop. I have my own laptop. You need to push a sprinter. You need a technician that will help you fix your, your laptop. You need, to, you need an engineer for power. So AI will definitely create more jobs. Okay. And I, I am going to make that prediction that a time is coming that we are going to have more jobs than people mm -hmm. living because a lot of enormous capabilities. Okay. Let's look at another one. As a man, maybe you can really farm on your own without the use of any gadget, maybe four plots of land. But when you adopt a high address, you can actually farm up to 20 hectares of land. Okay. Who is going to process that? You need to move your product from your farm to the market you need the ecosystem, you need to process it. And so you will see that we are going to be having more job opportunities. Interesting, interesting. By the way, our mechatronics engineer is also the vice chancellor of Summit University, son of a. <laughs> and uh, let's give you a snippet of the convocation lecture. They're actually having their amazing convocation ceremony. And that's how we caught up with him. So let's have snippets of the lecture. We'll be back shortly to continue the conversation. The digital economy 
which according to the OECD refers to the economic activity that results from the use of digital technologies such as the internet, mobile devices, cloud computing, artificial intelligence, and blockchain, among others, has emerged as a key driver and enabler of global economic and social development and transformation in the 21st century. Stressing the importance of digital, digital economy in the 21st century, and also stress that the digital economy is not a separate economy, but the foundation for all 21st century economies. Hence, the digital economy has the potential to enhance the productivity, efficiency, and competitiveness of the economy, as well as to create new opportunities and challenges for the development and governance of the society, such as issues of access, skills, regulation, and inclusion. You're welcome back. The program is still the magnet, and we're having with us a professional a mechatronics engineer, the promoter of AI, artificial intelligence, and more importantly, the vice chancellor, a youthful vice chancellor of Summit University Offer. So we are reaching you from Offer in Kuala State. Interestingly, this is your AI. You know, it may seem sound strange to some people. Though. Okay. How are you experimenting it? What we have been doing at Summit University and what we have done is one, mainstreaming artificial intelligence knowledge and skill into the curriculum. So irrespective of your course or program of study in our university, you will definitely learn and know about artificial intelligence. 20, 30 years ago, when we were in the university, you, there was this course then, computer literacy and appreciation. And they forced everybody that even if you are studying history or language or less that you must learn about computer. As of that time, some people were, were saying, no, I won't use computer this. Your mobile phone is, a, is even very powerful, more than the computer that landed the first set of, of men then in the moon. So what I'm trying to say is that we have mainstream and democratized the knowledge of artificial intelligence in our university, and we have been able to to actually put it as part of the, the curriculum. curriculum. You, either you like it or not, you will be introduced to artificial intelligence. Hope you know that all our fathers, imams, and less now, they too must acquire the knowledge hey, of artificial intelligence. So, because they must be able to to know and guide those who are in, into artificial intelligence and that don't go beyond there, and these are the limitations. And then because we have a lot of ethical issues mm. surrounding artificial mm -hmm. intelligence. Yes. Like now, you have, a, you have an automated door, that is that door, mm. when, when, someone, um, when someone comes in contact or very mm. close to it, she open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, but what of a day that someone that is coming to see you is your enemy? The door should know and say, no, mm. I'm not going to hold. We check and balance. And balance. So, Saving. So mm. that's why AI, uh, AI is important, and we are ensuring that it is democratized. Okay. It is mainstream okay. into the curriculum, and all our students have that knowledge. Not only AI. We have what is called the seven skills in the university okay. that for someone to survive in the world of today, you must have that knowledge. Number Entrepreneurship? One, uh, yes, but we call our own acadopreneurship. Oh! Acadopreneurship <laughs> in the sense Acada that... Exactly. <laughs> okay. We must be able to transform or transfer or share, move our academic idea mm. into business venture okay. or startup. That is the transfer or how do we turn academic okay. ideas into I don't have to, if I'm in chemistry, I must be able to know what are those things I can do, do in, in and outside the school. school. Hmm. And when I'm in electrical, electronics, I must be able to know what are those so things. So they don't increase the queue of unemployment. Exactly. Okay. That is what we are trying to do. And that thing must start from the school, not okay. after graduation. Uh, okay. Interestingly enough, you seem, I, I, I'm not sure if other universities, even when offering engineering courses, have really been promoting this. How is the synergy between you and other institutions, the tertiary institutions? 
Thanks a lot for asking about the collaboration. One thing is that we have two types of collaborations in our university. We have the vertical and the horizontal. Tell us. L uh, so <laughs> for the horizontal, <laughs> we try to collaborate with sister universities. Like presently, we are part of what is called KU8. That is the eight universities in Kuala State, mm. where we try to share curriculum, members of yes. staff, okay. and facility, mm. and organize joint events to 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 gather and for the vatica we collaborate with the industry we collaborate with with religious organization in and outside nigeria and we we collaborate with smes in nigeria so those who are not in the business of academic also we collaborate okay. with them and again the issue about ai is that nuc i has introduced new set of curriculum from the B, from the B mass to the 60 mass part of a, some subject of or programs as AI embedded but what we are actually doing is that we want to be known for AI mm. and we have even gone uh, we are moving beyond the basic mm. like everybody now even if you are not literate they know how to use mobile phone. Mm. And mobile phone is a simple computer. Mm. So irrespective of, of being Western certificated or not, at least our people, they know how to use, use computer. So that's basic mm -hmm. literacy as per data technology. But what we are saying is that we are moving from the basic literacy of AI to, be, to make it our, one of our focus. Yes, we are still chatting with uh, Professor when I say professor, I'm like this young man, professor. He may have a baby face, so he's not really that young. <laughs> I am just 19 plus. I'm I am just you. 19 plus. I hear you. <laughs> you know, he's the vice chancellor of Summit University and imagine one in Quara State. And um, they had their maiden convocation ceremony combined. We have a four, six, four years, right? Combined yes, convocation combined. ceremony. I'll give you the snippets of that. We'll be back to conclude the conversation. By the authority of the Senate, I award you all and severally to the degree of Bachelor of Science in various programs. For 2020-2021 session, then I call on Gazali Sherifat, Olaju Mike. Then now prices for There is no rule or ground book for success. It has to do with knowing yourself, working out, being determined, and assuring you enjoy the journey as you ride on. I'm grateful for the support I received from my family, uh, my fellow colleagues, and my lecturers. You're welcome back. The program is a magnet. We are now on our last lap. Remember that you can watch this program on our YouTube channel. And of course, follow us on all our social media handles. Professor Ibino is back here with us. 
Yeah, welcome back. Thanks, Congratulations man. on the welcome interesting seeing you in that academic gown. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah All right, now, the AI that you are promoting, how why are you creating the awareness? That's even related to Quara, where you are. What we are presently doing is promoting the knowledge of artificial intelligence to those fish farmers. That fish farmers? Yes, fish How farmers. How do you relate artificial intelligence to fish farming? No, prof. Thanks a lot. <laughs> lot of areas of application. Number one, one of the critical, one of the important factor in fish farming is water quality. Which, uh, with, with, with a device or so, you can always check the water quality so as to have high yield. And you can even predict what is going to happen to the water quality. That's one. Again, what we know is about regimented feeding. That is, you will give them food, food. In, in the morning and less. So that at times, if not well taken, may lead to contamination of the water and the output, you know. But what we are presently doing is that we have an intelligent when anytime you hear that intelligence TV or smart TV, it means it has artificial AI. intelligence embedded, embedded in, it. in it. So oh. we have an intelligent feeding system, system that if you look at the swimming pattern mm. of those fish and less and they'll be able to now determine mm. how to dispense feed. So that is one way. Also, we have the AI-based water prediction mechanism that you can use AI to predict what's going to happen to the water quality mm. for your fish farm. And also, you can also be, be monitoring your, f your farm remotely, not only monitor, and then be able to track faces, be able to identify those, like an intruder detection, mm. but not, not only to detect, must be able to identify the person from from that database mm. and less, and be able to tell you that at so 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 time, you may likely have this problem mm. in your farm. Interesting so conversation, very interesting conversation. All of this you are talking about, you alluded to it earlier. Power, interconnectivity, internet. Is Nigeria ripe for this? Thanks a lot. One thing. I need to clarify on that is that we are presently in the era that we call the fourth industrial revolution. And fourth industrial revolution has one thing, which is what you call cyber physical system, communication, control, and, and also and communication, control, and computation. So those three things will be governing, will be affecting what we do nowadays. To your question that is Nigeria life for this, we are more than ripe, and we are not go going to be only users that they will be dumping it on us. No, with what we are having in most of our higher institutions and like, and like our own university, we are going to be a key player mm. and a go global player. So we are more than ripe okay. because we have 4G and 5G mm. ongoing in Nigeria, mm. and I'm, I'm showing us that we have the manpower to Just remember us when the dollar starts rolling in here. Inshallah. Eh? <laughs> any, any final words from you? You just okay. the anxiety and fears of uh, the public. Uh, on one AI. Thing on AI. Mm. One thing is that 20 years ago or so, people were so afraid of computer that, oh, it's going to send people out of job, but you can see a lot of jobs created from it. So also, AI, I want you to know that it's going to create more jobs and more opportunities mm. for us all mm. in the world. So let's adopt the technology, let's embrace it, and let's ready for a better and brighter future. Professor Abiodu Musa Aibino, Vice Chancellor, Mechatronics Engineer and Vice Chancellor of Summit University. I know you have a mass comm department. Exactly. Very vibrant one. And Very that. vibrant. And, and they are creating a you, the combination of mass comm and uh, engineers. They are creating drone. Exactly. Time did not permit us to talk about that. Exactly. Maybe another program. Eh? Yeah. So modestly from us, it's called Whisperings of a Broadcast Jewel. Mm. Our modest uh, literary works that we want to donate to the mass comm departments. Okay. Thank you very much oh. for coming on the program. Thanks a lot. From, from us at Summit University, we are saying a very big thank you for this. So, mm -hmm. And I'm assuring you that we are going to make beautiful and wonderful use of this book. Thanks a lot. You heard from him, Professor Musa.
Abiodun Aibino, the Vice Chancellor of Summit University. Very youthful, vibrant, and <laughs> you can talk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching today. Very stimulating conversation. We make it a date with us same time next week. We shall bring you another professional to the program. We call it mentoring on television. You call it lending a voice to the growth of businesses. I hope you have taken one or two lessons. Focus has been on AI, artificial intelligence. You have to embrace it. Join us next week for another edition. <laughs>